This city of angels, so torn by tragedy, needed something to restore its shredded soul and to heal its broken heart. Everywhere in Staples Center, you could see the tears as fans tried to wash away the sorrow while a basketball team tried to honor a legend. The evening began with Usher delivering an unforgettably soulful rendition of Amazing Grace. Said we need you right now. Next, Staples went dark and then silent. 24.2 seconds to honor the nine who were lost Sunday on that mountain in Calabasas. It was, uh, it was very emotional. You know, I mean, our guys were teared up going into the, uh, you know, to, into the jump ball. I think everybody was emotional tonight. I mean, we all have our, we all have our individual reasons uh, why emotion hits us. The Lakers left no emotional stone unturned. And when Boys to Men sang the anthem, LeBron James's tears said it all, and he wasn't alone. Then it was time to hear from the man who was built for moments like this. Reading the room, James tossed his script and dug deep. Laker Nation, man, I would be selling y'all short if I read off this shit, so I'm gonna go straight from the heart. This is, this is a celebration of the 20 years of the blood, the sweat, the tears, the determination to be as great as he could be. Tonight, we celebrate the kid that came here at 18 years of age, retired at 38, and became probably the best dad that we've seen over the last three years, man. In a game where numbers tell the tale, only two mattered Friday. The two that rule the rafters here. The two that defined the greatness of Kobe Bryant. And when the starters were introduced, every Laker was Kobe. And one forward, number 24, Kobe Bryant. The fans chanted his name, and the Lakers desperately wanted to reward them with a win. But it was Damian Lillard who seemed to be channeling his mentor's Mamba mentality, piercing the Lakers with his impossibly deep three balls from the logo and beyond. I don't think, uh, you know, anybody feels like we walked away as a, as a winner tonight, you know, with, given the circumstances and um, the memories that we'll take away from it was, you know, just sad and um, just tough. Kobe is a brother to me. The one thing that we always shared is that determination to just want to win. They just want to be great. I want to continue along with my teammates to continue his legacy, not only for this year, but as long as we can play the game of basketball that we love, because that's what Kobe Bryant will want. Few have internalized Bryant's competitive flame as brilliantly as James. But when he reflected on the night, LeBron paid tribute to the father and the family man. I was telling my wife a couple of days ago, I was like, you know, you know, seeing Kobe play the game of basketball for 20 years for the Lakers, you know, since he was 18 to 38. And I was like, you know, what's crazy. She was like, what? I was like, you know what? These last three years, out of all the success he had, felt like these last three years was the happiest I ever seen him. Because when we play in this game of basketball, we give so much to it. And this is my 17th year, so I know. You give so much to it where, unfortunately, your family, you know, comes to the wayside at times. But it just puts everything in perspective. I make sure you just, like, hug the shit out of your family. If you got kids, tell your kids you love them. Try to make it to as much as you can. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.